We good? Yes? Yeah? Yes. Yay! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Neverland Book Club. Today is a very special live stream and I kind of like what we're doing recently, just the past two live streams, with just talking in general about one specific book. Today's topic, as we discussed last week, is Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight. Yay! Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna start um, with a few things first before before we get started. Yeah, we would like to start with some trigger warnings. Yes. Um, including, oh, this book is a doozy. Um, if you do not into any of these things, these are the lightest ways that we can imply what happened in the book. Please take note, and please, if you are not interested in these things, click away from this. You can always discuss it with us later, or perhaps yeah. on Heartbeat. Yes, um, on Heartbeat. But let's talk about trigger warnings. There are trigger warnings in this book include rape, uh, patricide, non-consensual sex, bondage, violent murder, torture, blood, knives, guns, all used in creative ways. Um, torture during sex. Create it, creative ways. Creative ways. Yeah, it's it's just a very violent book, a very sexual violent book. Um, please take that with your with like an own grain of salt. And also ooh. good evening. <laughs> also good evening. Way to start. Way to go into it. Grab um, your tea. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a doozy. Something to calm you down, cause I'll I'm, I might get angry, just a little bit. It's yeah. Should we should we just jump into it? Yeah, let's yeah. just jump in. Um, All right. You have prepared a little synopsis. Yes. Just to get us started, go ahead. Yeah. So in a few words, then a viper center around centers around five people: Roxanne with two X's, Ryder with a Y, Diesel. Yes, his name is Diesel. Kenzo and Garrett. Garrett. And Garrett. <laughs> Roxanne is sold by her father who owns, or who owes the four men uh, in the story a massive debt. Roxy runs a dive bar in the bad end of town and is a powerful female character. Um, I say this as a question because even though almost all the characters in the book call to and refer to her as a force in nature, she's very much so trapped in her own situation. She's a hurricane. She, oh my god, I forgot <laughs> about that line. She's a hurricane. She's a hurricane. That woman's a hurricane. Um, this book mainly consists of her being repeatedly raped by the four brothers, but jokes on them, she's actually into that. Um, God. But you know, consensual non-consent, I get it, it's... Yeah, it's, it's a thing that, that but happens. When, but when you're writing about it, say what it is. Yeah, and it, I think it, I get more mixed up about it because apparently they're also very hot and she's into that more than she's into being... It's a used. whole... Yeah, being, she's into being used, which... I won't, I won't king shame anybody yeah, for no, doing that. There's a mood for fine. it. That's fine. But like, it's... <laughs> oh man. Okay, so each one of the four brothers are kind of one-note characters, and I say this quite literally. They're yes. each defined by one feature that just so happens to differentiate them from their brothers. Did you also notice they each have a pet name for her? I did not notice that. Yeah. Uh, do you know the pet names for yes, her? Yes, I do. Oh no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll start with... Diesel is the most interesting character. Oh, Dirty Bird. He, uh, Little Bird. Little Bird. There calls her Little Bird. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryder calls her Roxanne, like her full name, or says love. Mm -hmm. um, I forget that they're British sometimes. Wait, no, no, he just he just says the full name. I think Kenzo says love, and Garrett calls her baby. So oh, they all man. have like little pet names. They all have little pet names. All right, so there's two differentiating features for these boys. Um, so. <laughs> Ryder with a Y is the business leader. He looks good in a suit, has tattoos, and daddy issues, and he's very loyal and feels very protective for his siblings. Um, Diesel is the killer. He looks good in a suit, likes to torture people and have sex while being in pain or covered in blood, has tattoos and daddy issues, and he's very loyal and feels very protective towards his siblings. He Kenzo, also has mommy issues. Oh my god, they have so many issues. They, I think all of them have mommy issues too, but mommy and uh, daddy Diesel issues. Has, has a lot of mommy issues though because what happened to his mom? Um, his mom, his dad killed his mom, or he killed he killed his dad. Or well, he, um, if anybody has read it, please correct us if we get anything wrong, because yeah, we don't, really truly appreciate remember. that. I um, will say real quick. Mm -hmm. um, now that we're getting into like deeper stuff, mm -hmm. Rocket Reed says that they only made it to chapter twenty nine, but they are okay with spoilers, okay. and that it's a whole uh, wild kind of book. Okay. It is. It is certainly. Yeah, I we're would, gonna we're gonna spoil things because yeah. these cha there's like what seventy chapters. I think because each chapter lot. is like four pages, not even. Yeah, I think I got to chapter. Um, fun fact: chapter seventeen is when the sex starts. If you just want to skip, because you you could just you could just skip it. There's not really a plot in here. Um, oh my god, there are seventy chapters. Yep. 
Why didn't she keep it a 69? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Missed opportunity. Don't worry about it. We are going to be talking a little bit about the plot. Um, the important thing is the plot's not really important in this book. Because there is none. There is no plot. Um, if you do, if you are here for the plot... You're going to be waiting around yeah, for a really I'm, long time. I'm questioning why you're reading this book. But uh, don't worry about it. We'll try not to get too far into spoiler territory because there's, there's not really. But yeah, Kenzo and Garrett are basically basically the same thing. The only thing yeah. that differentiates these brothers are, like, Kenzo is, a, is another business leader and the gambler. Yes, he's the gambler. Mm -hmm. He's also the romantic. He's also the romantic. And he only brings up Dai in one sex scene. When? Like, Dice? Like, the first one when he's, like, they're both sitting on the couch. He's like, you want to play a game? And then she's like, I'm really into you. And it's like a, a whole thing. It's when she's first raped. It's, um, it's her first. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Where he, like, goes, well... We'll flip a, what was it? If you guess the right number, then you won't have to take off any clothing. Oh, that's right, and she yeah. keeps guessing the wrong numbers. Yeah, because yeah. it's one in six ch Anyways. Is it <laughs> well, is, is it not two dice? Math. It is two dice, it's one in twelve, I forgot. Yeah, anyways. Anyways, yeah. So, Garrett and Kenzo, um, they're only- Garrett, Kenzo, Ryder, and Diesel. My god. Garrett is troubled, though. He has a troubled past. They all are troubled. He has, he has the, the evil ex. He has the evil ex. That, that makes is... him hate women. Yes. And and she she tries to break him down. She, he's like the last one that, that wants to have sex with her. Yeah. But she gets him. But she gets him, because she's a hurricane. Mm. Well, she's also... Phones, please! <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that me? No, that's that that's me. my husband. Oh. Good job, husband. It wasn't me this time. Yeah, all right. So... Around about chapter one, I realized that people actually didn't read this for um, the plot or the writing or... Definitely not the writing. Definitely not the writing. Um, the, the writing doesn't really matter in this case. I understand why people like to read this book. I'm pretty sure we discussed that. And yeah, that's fine. Some stories that I've read, I've been happy to ignore the plot for other features. And um, I really hoped that this would have been another <laughs> one. Dead on the inside. <laughs> yeah. How would you compare the writing from this book to others that you've that you've read? Because you keep mentioning the writing, but what is it about it that it's makes terrible. you feel this way? It's t it's terribly written. It's you're focusing on the wrong things, even when you're not talking about the sex. Like, how many times am I going to read the description of a leather jacket or kick ass boots? I that's not that's not character development. That has nothing to do with the story. There's no story to begin mm -hmm. with. The dialogue is. No, atrocious. It's, uh, thank you. It's atrocious. Bad. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's just I can't believe there's seven hundred pages, really? and that I read all of the pages. <laughs> I read each page. <laughs> Wait, no, it's six hundred and thirty-seven pages. I have a weird memory. This is, this is another. Why didn't she? Never mind. Anyways, it's it's just. There, it is and you know, I, oh, oh one, one thing I wanted to, to say is that uh, while mm -hmm. reading this book, I figured out that I have no triggers. Oh yeah, that's a great thing to figure out in this book. Yeah, so like, if you're really curious you. to mm -hmm. see like how, I'm going to say kinky like this, mm -hmm. because um, although it's a reverse harem, which we can go into, I actually explained to the boys earlier what reverse harem means oh. and where it originates from. Yeah. Um, harem is, is an Arabic word. Oh yeah. And it's, it's the root of haram, which means like dirty or bad or not good. Um, oh. But that started off originally harem mm -hmm. as like men would have multiple wives mm -hmm. and that rue would be called the harem of where the wives are. Oh. oh. So it was never really meant in a sexual way. It was oh. more, but then that... That's where the bitches live. Yeah, yeah. basically. But mm -hmm. then that translated over to, like, brothels being uh. called harems because that's just where the women were. Oh. So well, now this is a reverse harem because many men, one woman, yes. Many men and one... And one Hurricane of a woman. <laughs> hurricane of a woman, yeah. Okay, so... Yes. Jay Bailey joins us tonight, says... Mm -hmm. Lol, not me going to close my window by my TV real quick as people walk by. Mm -hmm. And Rocket Penis. reads. Yeah. <laughs> Rocket says, I'm oddly liking the kind of plot it has, even though the, not much of a plot. It is, it is certainly um, interesting. Uh, it, is, it is an interesting book to kind of just go into. And I, I will admit that there is certain things that I liked about it, <laughs> but it wasn't the writing and it wasn't the... The characters, actually, we both agreed about who our favorite was. Um, do you want to go into that? Sure. <laughs> it's 
It was Diesel. But yeah. hold on, let me let me finish the synopsis first, and then we'll then we'll get into the the real stuff. So after Roxy is sold to the boys, she finds herself enthralled and lured by her sexy captives. Um, she tries to escape once and is raped by the brother Kenzo soon after. And I I do want to mention this because I am a little bit still I'm a lot of mad about it. Um, but I think I found it worse that this is this is that Roxy and the author stipulates this a lot during the fact when she's being raped never says no. Um, that is a big red flag in my case because Roxy also is forced to confess under duress by Diesel um, that she actually wanted to be raped by the brother and that she enjoyed it. Um, she was still, let me be clear, she was still raped. I really wish that the author would call a spade a spade and actually say that because I know that a lot of people that have been raped have been, uh, they get confused because people tell them, well, did you, well, say, did you no? say no? And it's not about them saying no, it is about them being forced to do something that they do not want to do. And I want to just make that note there. We can press on from there, but... there There is also um, mm -hmm. a, a line that did also make me mad. I don't remember who said it exactly. One of the mm -hmm. brothers said it in one of their point Because the, the book is split in four different points of view. Five different points of view. Which is annoying oh, yeah, in and of itself. That's another reason why it's not written very well. And mm -hmm. you know what? I, I understand that some contempor contemporary romance, uh, this is not contemporary romance, but some contemporary <laughs> romance novels are written in both perspectives, and I like that. I do like that when it's done properly. Here it was not done properly whatsoever because the four boys, I, you, just ignore whose who's perspective it is because they're all the same. Anyway, yeah, exactly the same one, of their, one of their perspectives, but not Kenzo's, was like, we knew, because Kenzo is the romantic, so he didn't act, like, this is them speaking in their mind, is that he didn't actually rape her. He wouldn't have taken her without her wanting it. Oh, yeah, because he's good like that. Yeah. Which... Because he's, he's the good one out of the bunch. I think that was Kenzo referring to to his brother. Oh, no, no, sorry. No, Diesel referring to Kenzo afterwards. Because he, he went and, like, forced her to say that she liked it. Oh, which, okay, probably. That's probably... Apparently yeah. she did like it. So, like, there's... I, I guess there's that. Um, but... <laughs> okay, again, so... There's, there's like, after... My goodness, there's so much in this book. So, there's so much and so little in this book. So, again, if you're into, like, borderline rape or dubious consent, I would recommend... If you're not into this, I recommend clicking away from this this at all. Because it's, it's just going to get worse from here. These are, like, the beginning parts of the book. Um, if you don't want to hear about it... Also, if you're it, into it, you know... No yeah. Shame. Yeah. It's go fine. ahead. Yeah. Stay in, and have like a good time, I suppose. Um, so after having this is the um, shameless hour, there's no shame whatsoever. There's no shame. We've we've all had two eyes and read this book apparently, but um, after having multiple <laughs> dubious consensual sexual encounters with the brothers, Roxy begins to help her captives try and track down the people that are trying to kill the bro four brothers. And I got really confused by this in the book. Yes. Um, <laughs> that was a lot. <clears throat> I was like, why wouldn't people want to kill them? So, and I'm I was honestly at the very beginning rooting for people to kill them at this point because. And correct me if I'm wrong, is the Triad not an actual gang? It is an actual gang. It is a very terrible actual gang that exists in real so life. So why are you... Why are you having your fictional boyfriends kill the Triad? Like, not just kill them, but like, S obliterate them. Like, obliterate them, and not just Torture like... them, humiliate them, there we go. the families. Yeah. Oh, but <sighs> they do establish later that they, like, they donate to charities and they make like yes. homes for people and they take care of families and they're they're actually four very good men apparently yeah and honestly um <laughs> it's it's they interesting need to be redeemable in some way yeah it's interesting because the author does mention that the brothers only kill bad people or people that are mm. way worse than them like they like when diesel brings um the little bird down to his dungeon and everything and then he's like yeah this man raped his daughter and then she yeah. gets into it yeah um, interesting. It's an interesting choice. Apparently they only kill bad people, so it's... Anyways. Um, I think, I think that was yeah. just the author trying to justify her choices. You can just, I mean, you could just, hear me out, let them be evil. Like, you could, you could just have them be bad men. Like, I, I'm, I don't, I don't care about that. They're already pretty Did it bad have men. a lot of voyeurism? Not really. No, there's only into, there's only, like, one scene where it's voyeurism. The, but technically, I... The well, dinner scene? The dinner scene was one of the voyeurism in the cafe where they, they all were Kenzo. Yeah, anyways, um, there's that scene, but there I think I counted it as the other brothers watching. Is that considered uh, voyeurism? Yes and no. I would say voyeurism... Because they also joined in later. I would say voyeurism in just my, I don't know, the actual categorical 
um, definition, but in my head, voyeurism would be like a stranger watching. Like that's that's the kink. That's ah, the appeal. Okay, so like, like strangers can like hear, Neon huh? Gods mm-hmm. has a lot of. It's really good voyeurism. I think one of the better r- smutty writers mm-hmm. is uh, Katie Robert. She, I mean, shout out to Katie Robert. Yeah, she's she's you. pretty she's pretty great. I still have to read that book. I, I'm very excited about it. Yes. Um. For, yeah. Um, in in the in the video where I can't stop reading smutty books, mm-hmm. I talk about her mostly because I just binged a bunch of her stuff. But um, she is eons better than this. Um, so much better than this. Yeah. But I, I have to stress this again. So again, the plot doesn't really matter. Things happen. They have more sex. And if you're into voyeurism, congrats. There's that in there. If you're into torture, congrats. There's a lot of that in there. If you're into killing a man, stabbing yourself with a knife, and then fucking on top of his dying body, congrats. It's in there. Yeah. Um, or just having blood all, all over, over you. you. It's... That sounds sticky. Like, that sounds... Sounds so... Sounds I work nasty. with blood. Oh. There's... There's a smell. Oh. I wouldn't call well, it sexy. You know, I don't think she ever described the smell... No, 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 no. The... Remember... <laughs> we talked about things. Remember when the boys would, like, sniff their room and be like, she's in here. <laughs> They'd walk into a room and be and like, she, smelled she was like, here. <laughs> what did she smell like again? Whiskey and... Oh, something. Was, oh, yeah, I don't remember. It but was yeah, whiskey trashy, and something. Apparently, yeah. The so, faces... I wish if there was a camera on our side, but Pablo and I keep looking at each other like, wait, what? Oh, you said you said she smelled like whiskey? She smelled so she's like, an alcoholic? Oh, she she runs a dive bar. <laughs> yeah, she... Yeah. These, oh, yeah. They actually kidnap her from the dive bar. But they bar. also, in, in her point of view... That's another thing that I don't... That, that is um, a testament to terrible writing. Is when you're using exposition in uh, first person to describe yourself... Yeah, that is the laziest form of writing. You could have ever. had somebody of else saying look like, at you. "I smell like whiskey. I can drink all of these men under the table by the time I was sixteen because I had to do this and me, me, me." That is such terrible, terrible writing. Actually, yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes. It's... If if the if the first yeah. person female character says, "I am a strong female character," then that negates the entire point. Yeah, it's. It was also... We haven't even gotten into... Um, we haven't even gotten into anything. Hold on, let me, let my me do that. My notes yet. Okay, cool, cool. So anyways, uh, at a certain point, the brothers let Roxy go, and it's... Oh. Uh, yeah. It oh, was, that. That. Was, that, that was, uh, you know, that's yeah. actually where I started to like it just a little bit more, because I let go of mm-hmm. all four... Of all expectations. I let go completely <laughs> of thinking that it was going to get any better, of thinking that it was, it was going to be anything but what it was, because I was holding out hope. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? All hope is gone. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I think that we both, we both went, I really wanted you to read this because uh, I read it first and uh, I yeah. complained about it a lot. It is a very fun read. Um, If you're okay with all the yeah. shit that goes down in it, um, yes. it's very fun. Oh, yeah? Rocket Reed says, the audiobook is a bit annoying because they have a female and a male narrator, but the male narrator does the voice for all the male characters and it makes it hard to tell which guy's POV I'm following. You know, it's hard oh. to, to follow the POV when you're reading it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, am <laughs> so, I am so sorry, actually. Yeah, oh god, I wow. can't imagine listening to this. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, out loud. No, really, I though, I, I'm so sorry. We kind of had to listen to it. That's um, true, um, yeah. <laughs> the wise were telling us, um, just moments so from the true. book, they were getting so mad reading the first few chapters. That we would just kind of sit there and we've sat, had similar experiences where we're like, this book is terrible. It's god awful. And you continue. And they'd be like, look at this, read this. And they would read lines and be like, oh my god. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to sleep and then <laughs> this book would happen. I don't, I don't remember them voice acting though. So. No, no. I, I don't think I would give the. Maybe that's what they were. Maybe the voice actor was also going through the five stages of grief. Because I feel like um, if you if you can it, look at the yeah. book, we each made our own little sticky notes and everything. All these little yellow ones um, here. All these little, little yellow guys of mine. Yeah, the, the shorter ones yeah. all over are, uh, are yours, and then mm-hmm. these up here are mine. Yeah. And they, um, like, I really... There we go. That's a good one. Um, these are all the times I wanted to stop. Um, I would mark, yeah, I would mark each and every time that I wanted to stop. And as you can see, it, it disappears as the book continues on. Um, and that's because I went through the five stages of grief and then at the very, like, acceptance. Yeah. Acceptance. It was bad. How soon into the book, like what page number was when you first put the sticky note and said, nope, I'm done. Uh, Three. 
page three. Is it? Do you remember that? Yeah, because I wrote down. I said I wanted to DNF on page three. I did too. It's wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see. I don't remember why. It I, is I, page I it, three. I think it's because yeah. Tell me when I burn her, will you care or not? Man, all right. Cool. That that's that's oh who's, who's they're talking to her dad. Yes, this is her, them talking to her dad. So that that's have her. Thing? He screams, thrashing in Garrett's grip, whose face tightens in disgust. Me, I laugh. It's. Sure. Who's, who's, uh... This is Diesel's perspective. So we open on Diesel's perspective. Interesting. Yeah. I forgot about that. But mm -hmm. I did think it was, inc see, another thing of it's incredibly lazy, no plot whatsoever. They open. First scene is them beating up the dad to acquire her as a debt. Yeah. So we have no concept of who they are, what they're capable of, anything like that. It just opens. This, the book yeah. opens on them beating the crap out of her dad. Yeah, and I, I think I did appreciate this in, in a way, because this opens up and it goes, if you are not into this, do not interact. Yeah, because it's the first like, three pages. You know, you like this, this is like, just fucking dry, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, prep no. a little bit, give some foreplay, oh, don't I just forgot. shove it in. <laughs> you too, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Right. You too, brother. Now let's go get our new toy, I declare, suddenly in a good mood at the prospect of torture on the horizon. Rob should have known better. The whole city should. When you fuck with the vipers, you get, get fangs. fangs. <laughs> that poor girl has no idea what's coming her way. When you fuck with the vipers, you, you get, get the, the fangs. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot that that's a thing. Okay, so um, anyways, they let Roxy go. International best-selling author. Oh my god. Alright, cool. Well, um... I think they let Roxy go because the author wanted to show that she's actively choosing the brother and she wants to be there. Um, even though she does run at first. She does Her run instinct at first. is to flee. Yeah, <laughs> which she should have. She should have listened to, but that's not my. That's not my business. Apparently, she was like, "But wait, um, the clothes, but the wait, car, the dicks, <laughs> the, boys, dicks. <laughs> the sexy boys." All right. So even though she sold to them, she's actively choosing to stay with her captives because they love. She they love her and she loves them. Um, the brothers are very possessive of Roxy and begin to kill or maim any man who touches her, which apparently actually happens a lot in the book. I'm, yeah. I'm quite surprised at that. Um, and every time Roxy goes out with the brothers on a mission, a man dies because he touches her or calls her a bitch or looks at her. Yeah. Or but, is but just near her. But they do make a point that she can take care of herself if she needed to mm -hmm. because she can beat the shit out of anyone she wants. Also, um, so I had a little revelation as like I was nearing... I think it was when she breaks into the armory and she gets her bat back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, you've already destroyed my perspective. <laughs> this entire book, what's her name? Is Harley Quinn and the Joker, but the Joker is split into four people. It's it's Harley. It's Quinn his fan four. Fiction. It's 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 Harley Quinn and Joker fan fiction. Reverse harem style. But but Joker is split personality into four different people because like those are his his character traits mm -hmm. yeah you've got the the crazy one you've got the businessman you've got the gambler and you've got apparently a garrett i don't know well, the, oh, the he fighter hates, yeah. he's the fighter and he hates women and he hates women there we go <laughs> oh my God, this book is so it, it went like poof in my head when i when I, I read that she got her bat back and she had she had a bat and she was and doing it's, the it's, really yeah and she was like with her kick-ass boots and her yeah. leather jacket and she's got mm -hmm. the hair uh, what is it she has she has silver hair she has silver she has white or silver hair and, and then and brown eyes i believe yeah big brown eyes and she can do anything she wants and she doesn't gain weight and she has a very slim but curvy figure mm. and big boobs anyways we just it's, blew rock <laughs> Rocket reads his mind. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. And both same. I'm also telling my husband about this book too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I think <laughs> we the... torture our men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I, I realized how far my my standards had dropped in this book, or when I finally reached the acceptance part of grieving, um, is when I read I read to you, um, Ethan, a passage from the book, and it was, it was, awful. And then I was like, I will never finish this book. No, 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 no. And then I actually got to the part where I had read it to you, because I would read ahead. And um, I passed it again, I was like, oh, that wasn't bad. And then I went, wait. Wait, no. What, what is happening? She's Every priming time you put a sticky note in that mind. book. Yeah. <laughs> Every time there was a sticky note, you said, I'm putting this book down, this is terrible, don't tell Nadia, but I hate this book. Yeah, <laughs> I, really, I really wanted to like it, because I... I knew I wasn't going to like it. 
That's oh. why it was it sat on my shelf for a long time because um are I we, found it in a thrift store. Are we allowed to say this word on on camera? Are we allowed If you to have s- to think about it, I would say All right. no. Alright. Rooster. Oh, Rooster. Yeah, so I'll just do that. So I'm just we're gonna read a small passage that made me want to quit this book. Um she is goddamn beautiful, so beautiful it hurts. All pale, silky tattooed skin. Oh yeah, she has tattoos. Thick thighs and attitude. A combination I didn't know I would find irresistible, but my rooster jerks, jerks hard as I store every detail of her body in my memory, every dip, curve, and scar. Interesting. I, I actually had a question mm-hmm. um, that I asked, I asked Pablo because I was like, is this a thing? Because um, never have I ever read... I don't know if I should say this on camera. Oh, rooster's jerking? No, 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 no. I know. Yeah, know. okay, cool, cool, cool. But... <laughs> if you can censor it in a way that is PG-13. Do you, do you want uh, to... You know, I know, I think it could be PG-13, because I'm not going to curse or anything. I'm just going to describe something. When a man <laughs> finishes, um, the bulls retreat, <laughs> they, like, sh- shrink, because she just... It's it's from the man's perspective, and when he's saying when he's about to finish that he can feel his his, his balls his like balls shrinking, shrink in, shrivel. So, husbands. and I was like, does that happen? Uh, well, you, you Jay Bailey says, um, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Jay Bailey. I, I appreciate you a lot. We'll have to talk about this later. <laughs> See, now I'm embarrassed. Um, no, you're 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 also married. You're fine. Yeah. Have not noticed. Cannot describe. Can't confirm. Can't confirm. Yeah. If, no, uh, if any men are in the chat, which I don't think there are. <laughs> if you're a man and you read this, like... <laughs> tell me your thoughts. <laughs> tell, me, tell me your thoughts about this. Because I've, I've read Good Smut from the male's perspective and never. It's fantastic you, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And this book just. <laughs> I'm treating this like a rom com. I've been brought along and I'm watching it. I'm experiencing it. But my thoughts are completely different. But continue. I'm gonna have to make you read this book, actually. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so maybe we'll I, get the audiobook. To respect uh, um, uh, people that want to care about the plot, I will not be mentioning the whole um, thing that happens. The twist. The one twist. There's a twist. There, there's mm. perhaps multiple twists. You'll yes. never know. Yeah. Um, Twisty. Yeah. <laughs> but the twist happens like all the way over here. <laughs> it's like, it's actually, like, it's like. I want to say it's like all the way over here. Yeah, you've you've got a little while to read and so much sex to get through. Don't worry about yeah. it. We'll we'll talk about the sex soon. There's yeah um, some burnout. Yeah. So yeah, the novel wraps up. Um, and I I won't go into that because some people might live, some people might die. Um, it doesn't in the end. It doesn't really matter. No. Um, yeah. You would you like to start your talking points because then sure. this is my this is my opinion about the book. We might get and... a little redundant, but I'm just gonna go through them. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, point mm-hmm. number one, I hated it. Same. Uh, point number two, absolutely no plot whatsoever. Yeah. Good. Okay. Point number three, wanted to DNF on page three. Yeah. Ended up reading the entire thing. I have conflicting feelings. Why are these boys immortal? Why do they not yes. have any form of individuality apart from Diesel? Speaking oh. of Diesel, what does it say about me that he was the hottest one? I read that on Tumblr. A few times from different people, and I was like, "Oh, huh. so I'm normal. So I'm actually normal yeah. for liking Diesel." I think we talked I think about that. He was that. the hottest one. Yeah, I think we talked about that. He's actually the only brother that I feel like actually actively wants something in the novel. Mm-hmm. Like there is, there is not another person in this novel that actually wants something other than Diesel, who just wants what he wants, which is yeah. just to torture people and fuck. Yeah, and and, gotta, and it's yeah. night. I I think I think I liked him the most because he got the most out of the relationship with her. No, really. It because seems like there oddly are no, consensual. Yes. There yeah. were no other, like, situations. It was oddly consensual. And I actually liked that one scene. Uh, it was, like, the first sexual scene, even though it wasn't a oh, sex scene. with Diesel? With Diesel, when she was just, she was in bed, mm-hmm. and he's, like, sleeping next to her. Or he, he's not sleeping, she is. <laughs> uh, and he, like, wakes her up, cuts her hand, and, like, kind of pushes the limit of pain pleasure. Mm-hmm. I like that. <laughs> I was like, interesting. Yeah, I think my okay. my favorite scene between them is when they it's after she tries to escape. Actually, um, they bring her down to the dungeon and he starts torturing somebody. Oh yeah, and then she's into it. And I'm like, oh, 
Well, now you're into it. I was like yeah. happy for him for finding someone that, that can handle liked, him. Yeah, and actually like liked to be with Good him. Good for you, Diesel. Good for you. You know what? If this book has taught me anything, there's definitely a person for everyone. Actually, you know what? Um, Speaking of his name, I'm mm-hmm. surprised that his name wasn't Petrol. <laughs> Oh, because it's a British novel. Because it's a British, it's a British book. By the way, if you didn't know, um, the author is actually apparently British. Um, we don't, we don't know anything else about the author. This is probably a lie. There, um, there is one thing I know though. Um, she she spends has, her days she has in a cottage. A bunch of books she's written. She wrote that in the book. She's no. written so many My books. Are laughing. She really has. One of them. Oh yeah. Is called Nadia's Salvation. I need to read it because it's got my name in it. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just recovering from that last bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just knowing that the author is British kind of explains a lot. But also, Rocket Reed says, "Okay, so I'm not weird for him being my favorite so far." No, he's the only he... one that mm-hmm. has any kind of depth whatsoever. Yeah, he actually has a strange amount of. Like, the reason why he's my favorite is because he has a strange amount of, like, yeah, I'm going to push a lot of things this far, but I'm going to own that shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is kind of, like, push, back, push, back. No, he's 110% Diesel. 110% the way through. With his unicorn, uh, fanny pack full of grenades. Oh my fucking god. Because he has to be quirky. Because he has to be, you just give him one quirk. It has to be a pink fanny pack. Full of explosives. Yeah, so you're you're completely valid, Rocket. Um, I just, oh my god, is it's the only character that actually has any depth in the novel, which is and you know sometimes yeah. once once in a while he's like really cute. Yeah, once in a while and, he's and actually he's super like, soft. He's he's like one of those. You know what it is? Um, mm-hmm. I forget what it's called, but it's 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 kind of like a Beauty and the Beast type of thing where he is he is Beast, mm-hmm. but he's capable of being uh, cute and cuddly. And uh, the whole time, uh, I would picture, or I would imagine his voice, kind of like, um, how do I describe? Uh, a little bit like Bane. Bane! Yeah. Bane. I've got a torso. <laughs> Let me just shove this knife in your eye. <laughs> and then stab myself with it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry, spoilers. Um. Uh, okay, this was, it was pushing the limits of taboo which not really i you know what i after reading so much smut i appreciate the taboo that is more Mm day-to-day rather than something that is uh blatant that is like anyone would think that but Mm -hmm. going back to like what katie robert does with her idea of things that are more taboo it's like oh i didn't think of that that's weird but i like it Mm. with just just look up her stuff. I'm I'm a big fan. Not at all. Not that that she's like literary masterpieces or anything like that. A, every a lot of stuff is repetitive and whatever. But this 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 video is not for her. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, I like her smut. Anyway, uh, felt a little like shock value for the sake of shock value. So things yeah. were shocking, but not for any reason other than to be shocking. Lazy writing. Uh, mm-hmm. The brothers were the joke. It's Joker split personality. I talked about that. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kinky. Can't deny that it, it was kinky once in a while. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, there are still some scenes towards the beginning that are replaying in my head. However, and this is while I was writing this, but they kind of faded. After a while, they all kind of blur and you get a little fatigued by the same premise over and over again of constant smut. Uh, don't get me wrong. I can read smut all day. All day. But this wasn't even well-written smut for everything about this book to be bad, and then the smut is also written poorly? Really? Yeah, there wasn't really, yeah. there wasn't really a re- like, there, we talked about pacing a lot in this book. Yes. And it didn't really have a good way to pace anything. Mm-hmm. It would ramp up and then slow down, and then ramp up and then slow down, and then slow down, and then slow down, and then ramp up and then slow down. Like, it wasn't, there was no linear storytelling in this. I, I feel like she was trying for it. But in the reality, it just... I think she got bored with her own yeah. writing. <laughs> like, it's, it was like a, fa- a fatigue almost. Like yes. I, I think that we both mentioned that we've just... At the end of the book, we were just kind of reading the smut. Like, we weren't, we weren't enjoying it. Yeah. We weren't really doing anything with it. Because if you read good smut, there's a moment when you're reading it when you go, Oh. 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 Huh. Flutter. Hello. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and in this one, I was kind of like, oh, in that position. Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's another thing. Um, hmm. If you're going to write smut, can you 
provide pictures? Yeah. Or like a diagram? Can, can or, you say, I don't know if that's legal. Can Is you that legal? say where you are? Like, be clear with Especially it. when there's so much to, to keep track of. There are four boys. There are four men. How many dicks is that? It's four. Five if you count. No. <laughs> <laughs> you count the knife. <laughs> if you count the knife or the gun. Or the or gun. The... Yeah, anyway. That's a lot to keep track of. And yeah. if you don't feel comfortable keeping track of that many at the same time. Then maybe take then one out. Yeah. 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 You don't have to. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, because, like, in the chaos of it, it's like, where, so where, where, where was she? Everyone? Where was she, which way was she facing? Was she who's, facing up or down? Who's in which, <laughs> who's in which Orpheus? Like, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, <laughs> you said, it's you Orpheus. said Orpheus, mm-hmm. and I just thought mm-hmm. of the guy from, um, The Matrix. Um, <laughs> Morpheus. Morpheus, where are you? <laughs> Get in on this sex party. <laughs> that, I'd watch that. Yeah, I'd probably watch it. But it's like Neo it's the chosen one. Yeah, it <laughs> only you, Neo, can stick your dick in her. <laughs> like it's it was such a, a weird read where at the end of the book I was so fatigued by the sex and by it, the fact that it followed a very same pattern. There was no diversity in it. Which I thought there would be, because there was guns, there was knives. The maybe that's why I like Diesel more. He had diversity. He's like, the only one that used that used things toys. in <laughs> big quotation his, marks. His, big, his version of toys. His version of toys. Like I, I think that we mentioned like the whole I did like your twist on the on the gunplay. Mm. But like we only uh, got one Did we talk gunplay. about that? We um, haven't talked about that. Okay. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna go into it sure. or do you want <laughs> okay. I have no shame. That's right. Um so there is a gun scene. Um, it's, it's, it's notorious. Like, that's the one thing that I knew about this book before, way, like, when I first bought it. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a sex scene with a gun. I don't know how it's going to be used, but there's, you can use your imagination. Um, <laughs> it's, I knew that and I knew that it was reverse harem. That's the only, those are the only two things that I knew when buying this book. Um, and, and it was $5. Let's get that straight. That's the only, it's the only reason I spent money. It was a bargain deal. It, it was at a thrift store. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, there is a scene with a gun. There's one scene with a gun. I thought there was going to be more. I was expecting more I was gun play. I was expecting more with gangsters. Yeah. And guns. Like even just like the the thought of like feeling them in their belt. Yeah. I I expected at least more of that. Yeah. And there was only one moment where I think that yeah. she remembered. Oh man, they're gangsters, and like just yeah. threw it in there, which is weird because their whole lives revolve around their gang that they barely manage and barely oh, upkeep. Also. Um, the, just, I'm jumping back now, but there was the scene, the first scene that she, like, ever kills somebody, and I'm, this might be spoilers f- for some people, we but, apologize. um, there's a scene where, you know, I mean, eventually she's gonna kill people, but yeah. there's one scene she actually shoots someone in the head, and the boys oh. are like, oh shit, she shot someone, is she okay? Because, you know, you never forget your first kill. And when we get back to her perspective, she's fine. She doesn't even mention it. Yeah. She never mentions it again, of, like, being bothered by killing anybody, ever. So it's like, yeah. well, was that your first kill? Can you explain? You're, you're giving me a tiny bit of plot. Can I have some more? Yeah. Can, more, please? It's like she, the author, like, sets up these, these pegs, and then just, doesn't sh- knock them. Like, just, just kind of, like, leaves them there, and goes, like, yeah. describes them, like, walks For around them. For a book them. about sex, there was a lot of uh, anticlimactic... There was a lot of anticlimactic climaxes. Climax. It's just... Yeah. You know. Anyways, <laughs> Sorry, what else do we have? Noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, oh the gun, gun thing. Yeah. So I thought that maybe uh, having a different kind of gun, because he just uses the gun like a toy. Which he just uses it. I know? don't know if you ever, if people have that held guns. That doesn't sound. It, it's not nice. pleasant. They're not made to go anywhere, but held in your hand. And if you do put them anywhere, um, they are very sharp. They mm-hmm. won't tear. They're, they're, yeah. They're, they're not... Yeah. Like, if you ever just, like, gripped a gripped a gun that has a lot of ridges in places that are unfortunate ridges, it's it's not meant to be this way. But again, this is a work of fiction. I just say this because please do not use guns in, in anything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Rocket Reads, first of all, says, yeah, I kind of just skip over it. Yes. That's what mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. And I then... didn't skip a thing. <laughs> You kept on getting pulled back in. Yeah, I would try. I would try my best to skim. I skimmed mostly when she was like describing the way their clothes were. Yes. And then I would go back, and then I would find myself starting to read again. Sorry, go ahead. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, Jay Bailey says, "Okay, I'd like to know 
Uh, what, if any, are the re- redeeming qualities in this book, in your opinion? None. None. Um, well, there's one. I know that I'm a good author. Like, I, I know that my writing is way better than this, and if I ever want to be published, this will be a great way to go, I'm not that bad. <laughs> it's it is giving it's me It's hopeful faith. that yeah. something like this exists. Exists, is a bestseller, yeah. is popular, makes money, and is enough for Miss K.A. Knight. You know what? I salute you, yeah. Miss K.A. Knight. You were able to do what, like, it's our biggest dream, both of us. Mm-hmm. And you were able to do it with this. Yeah. That's impressive. Fairly strewn together, like, maybe some good sex scenes in it. And it's an international bestseller. Or at least you are. I don't know if this one specifically Yeah, I don't know is. if it's this book specifically. But yeah. but at least you are. This is the only book I know of that, that I know of. But yeah. she has a lot. Anyway, going back lot. to the gun yeah. thing. I think um, mm-hmm. it would be, it would have been nicer if the gun was, like, used in a more creative way. Like, I, I mentioned before we started that maybe it was, if, it, if you used it in a Russian roulette type of way of, like, while they're doing stuff. You add yeah. that dynamic. Oh. It would be like a very good because that way you would or even would like just things. just like you know gun in mouth type thing. I think there was a gun in mouth, but in his when? mouth. Um, at the very end, she like puts it in his mouth and then she pulls the trigger and then he comes because I don't remember. That. <laughs> I'll find it for you. Um, actually, oh, I don't thanks. ever want to touch this this book. Well, again. I did. I did. Uh, did put, you mark it? I did put notes whenever there was. It's one of the last Diesel chapters. Um, it might have been after they. I'll, on my own time, yeah. I'll yeah. look through it. Um, yeah, but he takes it out of, and then puts it in his mouth, and then, um... Oh! But the, but that's when, that's that's the one scene. I thought you meant there was another scene. No, no, the no. Same it's scene. the same scene. Okay, yes, yeah. I remember There's that. only, yeah, yeah. again, we would love liked more gunplay, um, but in a good... Um, I didn't know that I would, that I, that's something that I wanted. I mean, in you general. mentioned one, you mentioned that there were gunplay, and I was like, oh! Oh, and I started managing it in my head, and I was like, it could go this way, go this way, and then I got to the very end of the novel and read the one scene, and I went, huh. oh. Yeah. I think you guys will get a kick out of this before you go on. Mm-hmm. They really followed up saying, other than petrol being occasionally well characterized, uh, star, diesel. Mm-hmm. Love that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yes, Petrol was very much so, um, I really do like the name Petrol better yeah. than Diesel, actually. She, you know, she really missed opportunity with 69 chapters and naming him Petrol. Yeah. Are you, are you British? Like, See, what? I don't know, because it says that she just, she lives there. Yeah, but And it does, it people... does also seem like, like, sometimes this book mm-hmm. is written, the dialogue is written in a way where it's like a non-British person. This is how we think British yes. people sound. Also, the spelling of certain things... Yes, because the color, color is spelled. Color's different. Yeah. But there was one I showed Pablo. I was like, is mm-hmm. this legal? Is it legal to write it this way? She's trying to say the word snicker. Snicker. Oh, snigger. Snicker. Yeah, snicker. Like, like a Snickers bar. Yes. I will say there is a, there is a point to it, uh, or there is a fact about that. that yeah. Like color, there are two ways to spell it. Yeah. The yeah. British version is spelled like... Hello. The British version yeah. is what what you're you're, you're seeing. Mm-hmm. The English version is different for that reason. Yeah. Um, so it's changed over the pond for things. But yes, the, no, Brit, that's, the that's Brits say it a lot often. But it's like it's it's legal. It's just very iffy for yeah. No, no, the US. no. Le, 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 uh, color is fine. I'm saying the snicker one. No, yeah, no, that's that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, that one is. I read I've... that and I was like, that's not how you spell that. Yeah. But apparently it is. No, no, no. So, the Brits. yeah, the Brits. It's it's just it's also... spelled almost like a slur, and it made me uncomfortable. That is fair. The um, Brits. yeah, but either way, like it's just it's just, I've never heard, I've never seen it spelled that way before. Oh, yeah. It's actually it's one of the most popular ways to say like the scornful. It's a laugh that is half verse suppressed, typically in a scornful manner. Um, I also love that it's give a half suppressed, typically scornful laugh. <laughs> Yeah, Oxford Dictionary literally just switched two words. Like that, I I like that as a as a descriptive mm-hmm. word of she like she snickered at mm-hmm. whatever, but I've never read it with the double G like that. Yeah, That's it's just it is an different. interesting. Oh, <laughs> it's really interesting. All right, okay. Um. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. So I I don't know if I want to say that because I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. There's but just... there are certain things that happen towards the end that are so unnecessary. Yeah. Except the, the character um, admits they're like, yes, it is time. And I was like, why is it time for yeah. this? Why you'll When you get there, you'll get there. And when you know, you know. Um, the brothers uh, come up, um, say something to Roxy, and she goes, yes, it is time. And I, I don't... Un- like you, I don't understand. Yeah. Like, I was like, this this does not need to happen yeah, at all. Yeah, it's so unnecessary. Um. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it was... There's a lot of things that just don't make sense. I think the book is barely held together by any plot. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah, let's, let's just continue. <laughs> it's fine. Also, uh, something that I appreciate in other smutty books is mm. that they they allude to some form of security when thinking about pregnancy. Like, that is, Mm -hmm. uh, or any kind of contraception, because that is something that any woman of this day and age, especially today, Mm -hmm. thinks about. So... Oh, yeah, this book doesn't actually, now that you mention it, yeah, never, never actually once mentioned that she was on birth control. The boys also never mentioned that they wanted her to get pregnant, but... Oh, no, no, they do. Oh, they do? Yeah, later on, the, I think Diesel and Kenzo, they talk Mm -hmm. about having, like, or, and Ryder... They talk about possibly having little of littles of them everywhere, and I was like, "Are you gonna like take turns? Because you know she can only have like one at a time, <laughs> or you know, unless she comes to see me, and then I can maybe, maybe give her maybe twins, but <laughs> for four different dads. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ethically, would you? Um, that's 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 a whole that's, yeah. Never that's mind. A whole other thing. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Where am I? Okay. <laughs> After they deal with the triad, uh, there's still so much more book without plot. Just five sex scenes back to back to back. They should all be in the hospital. They've been stabbed and shot and tortured. Go home. That's what I wrote. <laughs> they did go home, but then they open up their stitches again because they're fucking too hard. Mm. Like, it's... Yeah. It's just... It's one of those things that, like, when... That's another thing that they, they say, like, when, oh, the police are in our back pockets. The doctors are in their, our back pockets. Why can't you go to a hospital, then? Why don't you then just why go can't to you go to a hospital? hospital? But also, they're immortal, so, like, it doesn't... They, they're immortal. Yeah. yeah. Um, I couldn't deal... I've said this already, but I couldn't deal with the long descriptions of outfits. Paragraphs um. upon paragraphs describing the texture of a leather jacket and kick-ass boots. I get it. You cool. Um, another one is, money is not real. No. Money is just... Money is not an issue. Not real. Anything. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's going back a little bit towards the beginning, but I, I like the guy in the casino that didn't give... That just didn't care about their, their closet escapades. Mm-hmm. He seemed just as annoyed as I was. <laughs> I would be annoyed to be in business with these people. Because <laughs> she was, like, being rude to anyone just for being in the room. And I was like... You, you could just... You, you could stop. You, yeah, you could just not say anything. You, or just only speak when it's necessary. Just to, to call someone a bitch because she's over there. Yeah. Just because she's over there. Like, what does she do to you? <laughs> Why are you being mean? Oh, yeah. It's the... And she's like hanging um, on him in the casino, and then they go and they do stuff in the closet. And she's and loud on like purpose to have people the, hear her. And yeah. I get it. That's like maybe that's a fine, little bit. That's a, yeah. But you don't have to be like that. It's she was just unlikable as a character. She yeah yeah I, maybe maybe we should talk about about that that she was not a likable character. Yeah, I found that fascinating. Um, because I thought that this would be like a, a self uncertain because most of these. Romance novels that I found, or most of these things that are like this novel, where you kind of ignore the plot and you just go for other things. Yeah. Escapism, self insert. Yeah. They are blank slates of characters. Like, I remember their. I haven't really personally read um, Fifty Shades of Grey, but Alexandra. What's her name? Steele. E- Miss e- Steele or something. Oh. An- Anastasia Steele. Anastasia Steele. I thought Anastasia you were talking Steele. about the author mm-hmm. E.L. James. No, Is no, that no. Her name? No. I don't know. But it's, anyways, the main character of Fifty Shades of Grey, um, she is a blank slate yes. on purpose. Yeah, like, it is it is very much so supposed to be, like, a self-insert for the person that was going into it. Bella. Which is, Bella, yes. We can talk about Twilight, too. Which is, Bella is very much so, like, a just a flat character. Yeah. Because she is supposed to represent the reader going into this world and is supposed to be the person that you kind of fill yourself into. Roxanne was not Along one of those. Along with the men. <laughs> Along. <laughs> Roxanne was Sorry. not one of those. And I, I found that weirdly like it took me out of it a lot 
where it would be, we would be going, there'd be plot happening, there'd be everything else, and then she had to describe her outfit, or she had to say, like, I am this way, and mm-hmm. I'm like, you didn't, you didn't have to tell me. I, I also, I liked the mm. fighting, but there wasn't enough of it. I think the action sequences were actually kind of good. Like, it was, there was a lot of fighting with the brothers, but also, they're immortal. Um, I had a hard time taking myself out of that, because I'm like, you're going against 20 men, and they're like, ugh, why don't they just make it a challenge? They, you would die. You would die if you went against 20 men with only four. Like, it's not even, it's not even a contest. But, I, li- I like yeah. the, I think my favorite scene was when she was getting tortured. My favorite scene was by, when she was getting triad. tortured. Yeah. That was pretty nice. That yeah. that was one scene where the uh, That was the also not was, sexual. Yeah, there was not it was not sexual at all. But the oh no, wasn't she trying to be like, oh, ouch, but also, ooh <laughs> but can't show them because these are not my boys. Oh right. I forgot about that part. She's being tortured by the triad and She's I think like, one guy's on name, you, I'm in, in that. Yeah. And and the guy that's torturing her, his name is Alex. And she she says I, that, that that's funny to her, that this like big bad guy has such a basic name. You fuck a man named Diesel. Petrol. <laughs> Petrol. You fuck a name. <laughs> Ryder with a Y, and you're gonna make fun of- you're gonna make fun of Alex. I'm- I'm- anyways, what, what else do we have to talk about? What, what is the guy's name in Tangled? Kristoff? No, Ryder. Flynn Ryder. Flynn Ryder! Ryder. Is that? But that's also his fake name. That's his fake. That is his Eugene. fake name. But is it with a, was? Is it with a Y? Hold on, let me see. Like, is that how? That's not how you spell. Uh, is that how you spell writer, as a name? Flynn Ryder. No. 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 It's with an I. Yeah, but Flynn is with a Y. Superior. Superior, Superior character. Man. Yeah. He. He's a great character. He is a fantastic character. If you yes. want, somebody make fanfic about this man, please, <gasps> and then sell it as a novel. I will gladly read it. Send me the links. Just. I look at him. Look at him. He's just, he's an adorable man. Look at the smolder. Look at the smolder. Who, who was the voice actor? He's trying his, uh, the guy that played Chuck. Um, Flynn Rider voice actor. He actually, he doesn't really look like him, actually. Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, I know him. He's pretty where, adorable. Where was he from? He was in some teen movie. Oh, he probably, oh, wait. Um, Tangled, Zachary Levy, Flynn, Zachary. Oh, Zach Levi. Yeah, Zach Levi. I was gonna call him Levy. Uh, he's, um, Shazam. He is. That's who he is. Yeah, he was also in a, one of my favorite TV shows. I think I, it was one of my favorite TV shows back in high school, I think. Um, his name was Chuck. And it's it's a very... Yep, Chuck. I would... Jay Bailey wants yeah. to also give us the full name. Eugene Fitzherbert and Zach Levi as uh, the actor name. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. But then um, Rocket Reads was also saying, I was thinking about that a lot when the scene was happening, and that's just, like, the boring sex part. Yeah. Yeah, that's but how, how do you... Like, the big question I have is, like, how do you make sex boring? Like, it's... I have never read a romance novel where I have been just so exhausted. Have you read any of the, yeah, like, contemporary romance no, books? No, 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 I've read romance novels. <laughs> I have... Oh, is sex boring in those? <laughs> now, oh, now that, no! You know what? Now that I've read Smut, good and bad, mm-hmm. yes, those sex scenes are rather boring. If there's that so, is if that is all world. you're reading, if that is all you're reading, then then fine. Good. Then Wait. that then that's fine. Then that's exciting to you. But once you get, Wait, I'm sorry, but once you get, I have read too many now. I haven't talked about it yet, but you know the Ice Planet Barbarians. Yeah, I read them. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the what? The what? Yeah, I, I Ice read them. Ice Planet. Wait, wait, wait. Go, go. Keep going. Go ahead. Oh, th- we're not talking about that today. No, no, no. You're good. But. Oh god, you're looking it up. <laughs> I just, I have to see... My goodness. <laughs> oh, 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 good. uh, uh, there are 20 of them. There are what? There, there are 20 books. You know what? They look... I mean, if, if you want to, yeah, I'm, I'm just googling... Um, oh my god. Yeah, my, that, my goodness. Wait, wait. I haven't seen fan fiction though. Oh, okay. There's, there's a... Can you show this? Sh- well, these are the official... These are the official things. Yeah, these, these are the, those, okay, so these are the ones that are on, like, Kindle Unlimited. Um, uh-huh. But those I'm are the ones. i scroll in any but those other are the direction. Ones, <laughs> those are the ones that yeah. are, like, the, uh, the, the cartoon yeah. ones. Okay. I've like, seen these in stores. Like, in no, the airport, you can pick it up. I know, it's, it's more of, And um, it's like, uh, This is edging. Yes. Yeah. I've read, I've read it. airport? 
my all right wait cool. are you gonna show yeah i don't know if you want to show it. i don't we, think we, we should some of them but um, oh she gets pregnant dear well, viewers sorry, spoilers oh, for Ice i keep scrolling down and it just gets worse yeah i mean you could still okay i can see that as a yeah that okay so that's the first one. Oh, interesting what so you don't have to that's a good title yeah <laughs> Somebody um, has posted a YouTube uh, uh, video. Video. There we go. Thank you. I'm, I'm losing all my faculties rather quickly. Um, I read the Ice Planet Barbarian, so you don't have to. Thank you. Oh, I will. I will go watch it later. Same. We'll we'll see what happens. I also read it. My goodness. So you don't have to. But yeah. <laughs> see, I didn't. Even, I haven't even spoken about that. There's definitely. Yet. There's definitely fan art. Well, the, by sure this, God, that's the, definitely... This is, this is what the boys look like. <laughs> I'm, I'm shook with... All right, anyways, what were we talking about? I don't I, remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. Wait, what are you... What are you <laughs> again, this book... Oh, you were saying, how do you make sex boring? See, the, this, 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 I'm, this, is I'm, so, this, I'm this sorry. This is sexy boring? No. Oh, okay. No, okay. it's interesting. But oh. also, also, oh my God, check your triggers, though. There's this very, very triggering. Oh. I mean, I was fine, but... I can see, we also, like... We read this. Yeah. Yes. No, there's a lot of rape. Oh. Like, very non... Like, trauma. Oh. Like, a lot of trauma. Interesting. Like... Fascinating. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But, but also redemption. There's, like, there's, like, actual character arcs, and... If you read all 20 of them. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> so, Jay Bailey is asking, is Ice Planet Barbarians better than Denim Vipers? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so you heard it straight from straight from straight from us. Ice um, Planet Barbarians superior. Is it good? No, it does. I not just look cracked like... my shoulder. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's it's not good. By the time, wow. All right, she she really just posted that on on the internet. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, sorry, I'm keeping. Don't show it. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Cool. It's a uh, it's this one. Oh oh. Yeah. If that, you just that's online forever now. Some some homework for you guys if you want to also see what we're gasping at. Um, just it's, Google. It just Ice Google Planet it. Maybe turn off safe search for fun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night. Um what, what else do we have? Um so my next thing is uh I don't have much more thoughts other than don't waste your time. I did have fun nonetheless though. Don't want to take that away. But more like fun in the way you watch a terrible movie that's taking itself seriously just to laugh at it because that's fun. Um, so ending thoughts. Two stars. I said this in my September wrap up which hasn't gone up yet but it will. Uh, one star for the fun of it and two for the fact that I've never read anything like it before. It did surprise me here, here and there. Uh, so I'm not going to lie on that. So one star for surprising me just a little bit because I have never read anything like it. Mm-hmm. And you know, there's a first time for everything. I, I think we discussed this. I've read much like this. Oh, you gave it, it one star. I did give it one star. I gave um, it two. I've read a lot of things like this. Um, and I, oh, nice. That was a good catch. Um, I've read a lot of things like this. There are better things out there that are free online and available to you. If you are looking for something like this, you can simply Google fanfiction of your favorite problematic fave. It is just something that you can do. It's free on Kindle um, Unlimited. I wonder why. <laughs> if you want to read Den of Vipers, apparently it is free on Kindle. Kindle um, Unlimited is just porn. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't. I didn't know that when I when I, you know. I think we talked. I've about devolved this. like real into the smut this year, just this year, because in 2021, I in 2021 I read my first contemporary romance book, and I was like, oh, there are books like this. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And then I started reading Smut, because I, I found the f- my first book was The Beast. And oh. it was so bad. I was like, oh, I'm not going to waste my time with Smut. It's stupid. Uh. And then I started reading more, like, other ones, because I don't listen. And I was like, oh, no, there are some good ones out there. There, there are some good ones out there. And there are some bad ones. And my brain is now fried. So if yeah. you're going to read some Smut, this is, this is, f- don't. Uh, you know what? If you want some, uh, <laughs> How how about Don't this? We'll we'll say there is better. Yes, honeys, you can do so much better than whatever this has to offer. Read anything you. written by Katie Robert. Sure. But maybe but maybe not. Did she write that one? I think she did. She I think she wrote the the the, the Dragon Bride. 
Oh, she wrote the Dragon Bride? Yeah, I think oh, so. I've read that. You did? I did. <laughs> did you like it? Wait, he has two It's hits? been, it's been, yes, I know. <laughs> it's been, <laughs> it's been so long. Um, okay, so I was actually gonna, gonna expose myself online. I figured out what, I bought a Kindle. Oh. And I actually, when I was younger, when I was 13, and I was like, this is the best thing ever. And I looked on free books, and guess what free books are? Born. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I wanted to find dragon shapeshifters. Like, cause uh, I, I really loved, I really loved being able to like- They don't shapeshift. No. I found that out the hard way. They- Apparently, I was severely dis- <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I, I found that out the hard way. It was a lot, and um, my mother, I, I got in trouble. Um, and these, with these books, there is so much better that you could probably offer yourself. I implore you, if you like this book, you have a world open to you, and you can go find more. Um, I would not recommend this book. Do not no. read it if you, if you want good porn. There is better things. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I got mostly from this book, so my, I'll say my piece. Like, I know this is wish fulfillment, and I know people don't read this thing for the plot. And I know that a lot of people, it, it lets people feel like a dark fantasy. And it is a bit taboo. Like, it, it does have that. Which, like, and I like the fact that it's packaged all in one place. And, but everything in the book is so distractingly bad that it just pulled me distractingly from it. Distractingly bad, yes. Like, that's, it's... That's it. Yeah. Because after, like, I wanted to stop so often that I couldn't fully enjoy it. And I feel like that's that was a big thing that really pulled me out of the narrative and pulled me out of the book. Out of the world, too. There was no world building for me. No. So there's nothing in it for me. No. There's so, nothing exists mm -hmm. outside of their city. Which is troubling to me, because the triad is... I, I actually will not go into game... It doesn't matter in the book, so I will not uh, give it the benefit of the doubt of that. You know, that's something... Yeah. Neon Gods kind of has a little bit of that problem, because it's like it's it's set in Olympus, in the city of Olympus. Oh. So it's it's set in a way where, like, they're not immortal, mm -hmm. and they don't have powers, but they're it's like a more political dynamic, which is I found a little interesting. It, but just take it as you will. I, um, I'm finding it so interesting that we in this book title about talking about Den of Vipers, we are actively talking about other books. Because they're Because there's better. nothing in this one. Yeah. <laughs> there is, okay. So the only thing, good thing I could take about this book, I mentioned it before, is that it's a very good example of an author telling you what the characters are experiencing rather than showing you anything worthwhile or of substance. Um, yes. It's also a great example that proves that anyone, and I mean absolutely anyone, can publish anything and still be a writer. Still be an author and still make. Quite you just have a bit to write it. You just have to write it. Because she wrote is, that down. She wrote it down and she shared it. Hats off to her. That's for another. Having that. You know another thing. Um, have you seen a photo of her? No. 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 I don't know what she looks like. Yeah. Which is smart. Yeah. I kind of actually. I want to look it up. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. So yeah. So if you need like a pick me up, and I would recommend this to people who need to pick me up. If you need to pick me up and you think that your writing is bad, read this book. I implore you, read this book, and guess what? You'll figure it out. Your writing's not actually that bad. You you can be a good author, too. Um, so, yeah. If yeah, you want to read this book... If you look up her name, no photo, no actual photos no of her No actual photo of her, yeah. Which, that's the way to do it. Yeah. It is... I think if I was ever going to write... Something like this. Something like that, yeah. I would... Uh, it's not my name, and you'll never yeah. see my face next to it. What do you got? So Rocket Reads is saying it's sitting at a three stars for me, but I'm only thirty five percent of the way in so far. If the stars start they start going down. They start going it's it's a weird book down, down, because down, down, like down. at the very beginning you have high hopes for that whatever you, you got into it for. It is the five stages of grief. It is the five stages of grief. And by the end of it you're like Acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really though. Yeah. It is yeah, it's I, I'm Really interested to see your thoughts about it too, because I look at how many books she's written. Oh my goodness! What? She has series. There's dystopian. There's contemporary. The There's dark gods. alien sci-fi. Co-write. Somebody co-wrote with her. Well, you know. Yeah. I suppose when in Rome or when in this. Jay Bailey says. Okay. Um. Kind of obsessed with the synopsis of The Dragon's Bride I just read. I might try it, no lie. You know, what What also was nice about those is that Man. they're only like 200 pages. So you can just, in it, in one go, just... It is It is a fun, This took quick me read. too long. It took me a week. Yeah. And I am a fast reader. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, Ethan has watched me consume books I think within it, it took, four hours. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think this took me like four or five days because I know it took me less time mm-hmm. uh, because I, I did mention that I sometimes will read books I hate faster yeah. to get through it. This book, it... And uh, there were some times where I was reading it and I was at work and I was like, I, this is, I can't, I need to wait till I get home. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this right now. <laughs> it's, Yeah. Maybe read if you... Okay, so we have a couple book recommendations for you to cleanse your palate of this. Hmm. And remind you, there's actually good smut in the world. Apparently there's the Ice Planet Barbarians. I'm not saying that's good smut. (laughs) Yeah. I'm saying it's different. With that asterisk, we move on to The Dragon (laughs) Bride, which I read when I was quite young. What other smut books have you read? Because I can... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> whatever was free on kindle in 2013 i, I recently reread <laughs> i recently reread your dad will do mm-hmm. uh for okay i reread for that science. i i know really mm-hmm. i highlighted every time um <laughs> i okay you went, i reread it after i read this one ah, because i was like cleanse. yes yeah to like remind myself that sometimes it can be good yeah um, and that one was one that surprised me that I didn't think I was going to like because of the title. And it was like, it was, it's a terrible, um, oh my God. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go it's a, it's a terrible, uh, cover. Like the covers are like of, of this series that she has. Mm-hmm. I like all of them. Oh. I think there are like three or four in this series that she has of like, the, see, these are a touch of taboo. That's the name of the series. And so they I, lean into it. Yeah, and I like mm-hmm. it because it's like an everyday type of thing. Like these, these um, what's it called? Relationships oh, with okay. people. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I thought that said grandpa. Oh, no. <laughs> huh? Is it one of the shows? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, they're, they're just the covers. Yeah, they're just the... No, don't, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. It's like, if, if people want to seek out a palate cleanser, these are the books that we're going to recommend. You yeah. do not have to show the covers of it. People will be able to, to type it with their yeah. own figures. Um, the Dragon Bride, I actually might have to go and reread. I haven't read that in I read years. It, I read it a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. Very good. That's when, when I started getting into smut a couple months ago. All right. If people want to hear our thoughts about that, you can... Maybe we'll do one full thing on uh, Katie Robert one day. Actually, that would be fun. I would love to you see talk all about those. That. I've read all of them. Hello, wow, wow! It's all your wow. Okay, you can show this. It's like all the <laughs> all the book titles we just talked about. Yeah, interesting. I didn't know that she. Okay, uh, cool. So Neon Gods is is I think it's called like Dark Olympus that series. Yes. Dark uh, so Neon Gods is the first one. It's Hades and Persephone. Mm-hmm. The second one is Electric Idol. It's uh, Eros and Psyche, which. That one was my least favorite out of the three that are out. Wicked Beauty was my favorite because that one is um, Helen, Achilles, and Patrocles. All three of them. Um, Good for them. Yeah. yeah. And that one, see, this, there's light plot, but it's there. Mm. There is there is plot. It is interesting. Cool. So it's okay. not it's not the best book ever written, but, but it's not this. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess what we're what we are trying to say, maybe encompass it. Yeah. If you want to read this book, hats off to you. Try and finish it, um, or don't. Enjoy your life. Take yeah. a walk, eat some ice cream, have oh. a nice evening, and save yourself the trauma. Like it's just go get some petrol. Maybe go get some petrol. Mm-hmm. Maybe go sniff a gasoline can. It's about as much fun <laughs> as you can like have fun writing. Then pour it on yourself. Set yourself on fire. Yeah, there you go. Because that's Diesel what they do. Style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't actually do that. Don't actually. We do not work it. Legally, these were jokes. Jokes. These were, go take a nice walk. (laughs) Have a nice, a warm bubble bath. cup of tea. Oh, a bubble bath. Yeah. Yeah. Have some wine. Wine. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of champagne. That's the best way to raise smut. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Curl up in your bed and and have a good time. Call me time. Um, yeah. But like, Den of Vipers, we we did not really enjoy it. Um, No. We did enjoy talking about it a lot. Yes. It was fascinating (laughs) read. Um, it was fascinating to talk about it and yeah. I think I had more fun being able to to express my disgust about it, but also, like, yeah, one out of ten. Right? Yeah. I might go back and read a page and put it down again. I don't, I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine either. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, anything else? I, mean, I could talk for hours about these. We can all read but them, I can't, and then we can I have can't a discussion about them. But I can't think of anything else them. to say about this one. Just don't read it. 
it, there's nothing really happened. No, nothing happened at all. Yeah. I can tell you a ton of stuff that happens in those three. Even the Dragon Bride. Even the Dragon Bride, like, stuff happens. There's, yeah. like, elements of miscommunication and, and uh, like, just... The whole plot. Characters, and it's just, it's more... That was more interesting, and it was, like, what, 150 pages? Mm-hmm. And it had more story than 637 pages of this book. Trapped so. in marriage with a terrifying and dangerous man. Oh. See, also, I didn't expect there to be such a clear level of consent oh. when talking about a dragon <laughs> with two dicks. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there's two. Yeah, there are, there's <laughs> two dicks, but he's also very... Mm-hmm stern in his level of um this is consensual a hundred percent of the way and we can play our games but you are safe the entire time oh and that's nice to read huh some people don't want to be safe so, i get that too that's fine yeah but um mm-hmm. you know there has to be some level of it being okay you have to talk about it talk about it with your partner yeah and your kinks like just yeah. have an open sex is a conversation yeah because like yeah. with with the, <laughs> the ice planet barbarians there is that line of like where is the consent mm-hmm. because it's sometimes it's just not there um but then late when you get into like book f- four or five <laughs> there's it mm-hmm. gets more structured and that has a ton of plot i didn't actually expect there to be so much plot with that oh so that's a meme do you want to you can pull that one up if you want is that, the yeah. accurate, is that an accurate representation? Yes, of- yes, this was me. I read the first one, and I was like, this is this is going to be terrible. I'm going to DNF it. And then I, by the time I finished the first one in a day, I consumed it in a matter of hours. And then I was like, I, I think I read the first three in like a day and a half. That is fascinating. Uh, well, you're selling me. Um, we might have to talk about that later. But honestly, I would be down to let us know. Like, if you have any good recommendations, maybe please we'll tell do... it to people. Yeah. Yeah. If you well, have... I don't want to do a live if you haven't read it. So oh. maybe read no, no, just no. the first one. Yeah, I'm going to read they're it. they're really short. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're like 200, 250 pages or I something. definitely have to borrow these books from you. Um, uh, uh, they're all on my... I actually bumper. rented the Neon Gods from the library, and then I have the other two on my Kindle. Oh, that's okay. Then I can order it. I don't on, have them in physical copy because, you know... Yeah. I don't have any of these in physical copy. They're all on my phone. <laughs> They're not, they're not even on my iPad because other people use my, you guys use my iPad. I, they're only on my phone. <laughs> I know well enough to look around through any of your guys' computers. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Anyways, I think that wraps up our thoughts about, about um, Den and Vipers. Oh, you were drinking that fast. But yeah. Most ardently. Yeah, most ardently. This is not made by you, but it, I, no. I feel like it, it is encapsulation of me. everything else. Adulting is hard. When that is gifted to you by a parent, uh, saying something. Mm-hmm. It does speak to me on, on very good volumes. Like, there you go. Adulting there is hard. It is. Right next to Den, Den of Vipers. Vipers. Adulting is hard. <laughs> yeah. Apparently not for her. Apparently mm-hmm. the, the roosters something were. Something else was hard. Yeah. Roosters. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this live stream if you liked it. We will try to do more live streams. Uh, we did a poll, and you have spoken. You like Fridays. We like Fridays, too. Today's Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, is today Friday? Today's Friday. Yeah. Today's Friday. It's Friday. I will not get that song stuck in your head, actually. Never mind. No. Today is Friday. Don't do um, We will try to do more, uh, preferably, like you said, on Friday. But I don't know what the next one is going to be. I wanted to be like, okay, next next week we're going to do this. But I'm not sure what we're going to do. We could if do, you want to, um, I could do Neon Gods, or I could do the Dragon Bride if it is really, really sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I may have to reread it. We'll make an um, announcement, but we'll we won't tempt you any longer with what we might be talking about. You know anything. what book I did download today? What book? <laughs> what book, Nadia? <laughs> um. I don't, okay, so I don't know if you're going to want to read it because, um, mm, hold on, wait a minute. I took a picture of the, of the author's note in the beginning because I was like, oh, interesting. So I downloaded oh, a book. Oh, it's Catholic. Yes, I downloaded a book called Priest because I have heard a lot 
Don't. Oh my god, that's too close <laughs> on my face. I I downloaded a book called Priest. Mm-hmm. I heard a lot about it, good and bad, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. It is uh, a little bit longer, I think. It's like 300 pages. Or so. That's not that long. But this is the author's note in the beginning, and I was like, this is interesting. He named the 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 author named them Father Bell. Yeah. Well, like uh, hold on, Mar- I met at a Catholic school. What's that? Like um, fascinating. What's that note? Because we don't know what it is, and oh. people have to know. Do you want to? Do you want me to read it? Or you're uh, read it? I can uh, you just see it? Hold on, wait, wait. Um, do you want me to read it? You know, I can just read it. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if that's allowed. Can I read? I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Um, so this is for priest. I I forget who the author is. We can look up the author, but um. Author's note in the beginning, I spent the majority of my life in the Catholic faith, and while I'm no longer Catholic, I still have the utmost affection and respect for the Catholic Church. While the town of Weston is real, and delightful, in parentheses, uh, St. Margaret's and Father Bell's, and Father Bell are purely inventions of my imagination. This novel is entirely fictional, and and entirely for entertainment, and yes, it contains some of my personal views around the intersection of sex and spirituality but it's not intended to offend or provoke. That being said, this novel is about a Catholic priest falling in love. There is sex, more sex, and definitely some blasphemy. You've been warned. So that cheeky little bit at the end made me go, ooh. I like like that she, she said it's about a priest falling in love. Oh, content warning. This book contains mentions of systemic sex abuse and a sister's death by suicide. Okay, so I feel bad for saying I'm I'm now into this novel, but that was mostly due to the author's note and not because of the content warnings. Yeah. Um Sierra Simone is the author. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. Priest. So priest one. Oh man, she has more. <laughs> wow. Wow. So maybe we should let you go. Uh, I might read this just. Tonight, oh. there are a lot of other books that I'm supposed to be reading right now, but you know. Oh, with our free app. Ooh, uh, Why is the paperback so expensive? It's twenty-seven dollars. Dear readers, please do not spend more than five dollars on these books. I got it for six bucks with Kindle. Audiobook at zero dollars. Well, that's if you have. Uh, oh right, it's a credit there. with. Actually, Audible. I do have a credit with Audible right now. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll I did it. hear a TikTok that said if you're going to read Priest, uh, the best way to read it is to listen to it because apparently the audiobook guy, the what is it called, narrator, <laughs> the audiobook guy, <laughs> the narrator has a really good voice. But um, I just I just downloaded it. Well, I'm sold. All right. Well, actually, we can listen it. I can. I have an audio credit, so like, yeah, we can just listen to it. You will have some opinions about it. How about do we want to do this? Oh, next do week? a listen. Do a listen. Right there. Oh. Oh, I turned off my sound. Jay Bailey says I'd read that. <laughs> Alright, sounds it sounds different. I like when they're different. Yeah. Um I just want to hear his voice. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can actually do it. Sound. This might be too much work. Sorry, listeners. Maybe I can find it. Um, We're mm-hmm. invested. I want to know now. You want to? Okay, real tech audio. I wish I wish to change it to my friends. Necessarily ornate molding. I'm not a claustrophobic man, but this booth could turn me into one. I folded my hands and thanked God for the success of our latest fundraiser. Ten thousand more dollars, and we would be able to renovate St. Margaret's of Weston, Missouri, into something resembling a modern church. Oh, they're in Missouri. No more fake wood paneling in the foyer. No more red carpet. Admittedly good for hiding wine stains, but terrible for the atmosphere. There would be windows and light and modernity. You know, I've been assigned of... to this parish because huh. of its painful past. Oh, oh what's his name? It doesn't sound like it, but the cadence of his voice and the way he's the talking. Building. Um, what's his name? The guy from Parks and Rec. The boss. To to the Ron, Swanson. Ron Swanson! Just, just the cadence of the way he's speaking kind of sounds yeah. like I had drifted. One of my flaws, I'll admit. When I prayed daily to change. When I remembered to. I don't think that's necessary. I said. Well, now it's Ron Swanson talking. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry, I really ended this. For everybody. It's Ron Swanson. Rowan Murphy, middle-aged man. He sounds like the hot version of Monsignor Pruitt. He was my only oh, Monsignor Pruitt. Now I... Oh, 
sins range Damn it, why did you say that? <laughs> I'll let you borrow the audiobook. Yeah. Whatever. Because Monsignor Pruitt. At the gym in Platt City. Midnight Mass. Well, Again. I've, 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 it's I've, a great. Yeah. I've talked so about Midnight Mass so countless times. Oh, then his yeah. new one is out today. Midnight, midnight The Midnight Club. The midnight we should club. stop and go watch that. Actually, let's let's go do that. We will let you go, dear dear viewers. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for being here. All the shout outs mm -hmm. go to everyone that was here. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, Rocket Reads and Jay Bailey. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for always joining us and making the time for us. I really appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. um, also, I do want to shout out someone sent me a book. It's not in the room. It's in the other room, but it's going to be a lot to go get it. But someone sent me a Discovery of Witches, and it only said from S. And when I wow. went when I went to the comments, someone called Shirley said to go check your mail at some point. But that was five months ago. So I don't know if it's you, but whoever sent me a Discovery of Witches, thank you so much. I'm going to read it next. I promise. Mm -hmm. Once I get through, Priest. <laughs> do that question. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, so Rocket Reed says, have you finished the Diva Bat trilogy? The what? The it's oh, Davabod. 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 Yeah, yes, right. I, yes, yes, I finished it. I did finish it. Um, so I did... I have all of my thoughts for my wrap-up that should be out soon. Um, I, I, I'll, I can talk your ear out. Davabod? Davabod. Davabod. It's, it's all D-A-E-V-A-B-O-D. Davabod. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. So this is a, this is like, a, huh. the main character is Egyptian. Yeah. So I like it because, you know, hello, insert. Um, I did finish it. I have all my thoughts, but that's, it's for a different video. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. it looks really cool. It is. It's mm -hmm. very nice. But um, I, I'll, I'll talk to you more about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, any other questions? Are we good? Good. Okay. All right. Signing off. Um, yeah. We don't have to do the thing. But, oh, you know, why not? Still lost. Keep yes. reading. Please. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Oh my God.